Today I was playing Rusty Moose Monthly. This server I played various times in the past. Spending crazy raids around wild room, all around an insane server where anything could happen. But today, I was playing solo. I had to live right on the doorstep of some of the biggest zergs in the whole game. Getting loot would be a challenge, and as soon as the zerg noticed me, I would be gone. Would I be able to progress? Would I be able to establish myself in such a harsh environment? Would I be able to make it to the glorious end game? Or would I get caught in the crossfire of the larger groups? For now, it was back to the beach. The server had just wiped, and I made my way to Outpost. The plan is I'm gonna run to Outpost. My build spot is right there. We're gonna get a crossbow nail gun hopefully going. Get some bags down. We got a launch for some barrels right here. We got the Millie Tons Recycler, like it's right, right there. When we run to Millie Tons. We got a supermarket if we want. Arch. Snow right below us. So we get some action. It's about out water. I'm gonna try to loot this road for maybe some more comps. That guy, his friends hitting barrels, better not have anything. Oh my god, he got a paddle. That guy is gonna fuck me up if he gets anywhere near me. Come on, crossbow out of a tool crate right here. Please. That's actually big as well. Let's go. Cloth. Okay. So many people here already. Get me away from here. Oh shit, got it. No way, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm out. I'm gone. It's just flat ass area, actually. Hold on. Thank <laughs> you. 
a custom, bro? No way. In this fight, I decided to collect wood, cloth, and some stone pickups near Militons to get another bow and hopefully get some more gear. Basically, this guy was the guy I just killed in the previous fight, and after I would killed him and taken all of his loot, he wanted to be allies so that we would stop killing each other because we were both relatively small groups. Despite being the same team for a large portion of the way, we really didn't actually do anything together besides maybe going on one or two roams together that didn't really, nothing really even happened. They ended up telling me how broke they were after I killed them, so I gave them one of their bows back. Can we at least have like a bow back? Like, yeah, you kind of just shit on. Oh us. my bad. There you go, man. It's a bow. Nice. Uh -oh. I can't see Jack and shit, bro. Oh my god, bro. Dude, like, there's, I'm not going back out of that night. I can't. No 
No way, man. I love it so much. So wholesome. I'm a dev, I'm spawned by outpost, I got a nug. So it's always a good, uh, good way to get some loot. Bad bitch, I already know it. Oh my god. was definitely not winnable and also it was just I don't care to win it. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, bro. What is this? What is that? Why am I, what am I playing? Why is there fucking like five of them? Oh my god. Hit him? Please be dead. Uh. You're lying to me, bro. Oh my god. Larger groups had started roaming in my area, and PvP was becoming harder as a solo. Instead of taking fights, I decided to focus on farming scrap rather than PvP. Despite just saying I was gonna go get scrap, as soon as I heard those gunshots, I ran right over to the fight. Oh my god. Don't wait me, don't wait me. Don't wait me. I'm, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I don't know what? when, but I will be back. Are you gonna wait me? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, I have no seeds in here. And I, if I did, I, I'd give them all to you. Here. I was not a good idea. 
his last bullet. No way, I fucking lose that, man. After this boss, I was ready for a break. Then I focus on farming for my base, upgrading, honey coming, and I steal my bunker, and I logged off. I really helped the bunker on, so I don't hear anything break. I just see all my loot in. Fuck! Unfortunately, I had made a mistake while honeycombing. I had placed a wall which changed the stability of the floor, preventing the bunker from opening. Instead of giving up, I went to outpost, bought a drop box, and learned it. I then used drop boxes to throw all my loot outside of my base and established a little base outside my original. Um, this is a big misunderstanding, honestly. I don't, I don't think, like honestly, I was just building my base, minding my damn business. And this guy over here, this naked, like came up to me and was like, about to kill me and shit. So I was like, damn. And um, so I think maybe if I'll give you guys the, the compound bow and the fucking, the water pipe back, and then I'll just leave with what I had before on me. That sound good? No way, no way I survived that. No way I survived that. I'm alive! After making Fuck. a few plays, I decided to log off for the night, adding my wipe there. Oh After being set back on day one, but I had to get right into grinding for my tier 2 workbench on day 3, so I could rebuild my base and start creeping. I'm gonna go on a recycle run. Fucking roof camper, my dumbass. My ally turned out to be nothing but a dirty roof camper. Only living his base with prim gear. No better than the Zerbs who played the server. I tried to stay on the team to avoid unnecessary conflict. I tried to distance myself from them, not wanting to associate with such lowly tactics. My ally complained about his team being offline, clearly not fit for the solo life. I've been wanting to do trains, but my whole fucking team, they haven't been on. So had work. Although my ally showed weakness without his team, I was determined to strive. After a quick break, I returned to quite the commotion outside. Two new clans have moved to next door, and my ally was once Last again roof camping. I stayed determined, however. I finished farming scrap and laid down my tier 2. I then began to reconstruct my base.
box is so low, it's not even funny. outside right now. I knew it, bro. I knew it. I'm gonna go door. Dickhead. Actual dickhead. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a fucking diving trip. Oh yeah, buddy. Folded. So fucking loaded. Holy shit. Possibly the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. And that is research a generator and craft one. Thanks for running my neighbor. Hey, hey, hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I will mess you up, kid. I wish you would try to kill me, boy. I'll mess you up. Do it, boy. Do it, boy.
that's it. Somebody just got fucking destroyed. I just got dropped in my head. God. Dude, this is so worth. M&M's. Where does this guy live? Who is this guy, bro? Oh. 
Holy fuck! There's an orange! Oh my god, orange MMF! No! Orange MMF, what's going on out there? Oh my god. Oh my god, they're everywhere. I hear them. That was a pretty good counter right there. So that's successful. All that from literally nothing, because I didn't spend anything. I'm gonna need to go jump right now. So many of them, bro. Let's go, bro. This counter raid win marked the end of the first half of my adventure. The next half is when the action really begins. What the fuck? 